Miss, excuse me. Could you support me by buying those eggs? I need to buy some books for my children and I don't have money. So you sell those eggs? Yes, I lost my job. But... What do I care? I mean, why don't you find a decent job? Good afternoon, young man. What's up? Hey, couldn't you support me? I'm selling those eggs to get money. To buy a book for my son. And I don't have a job. Could you help me? And why do I want those eggs? Dude, get the hell out of here, okay? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Look, I'm selling these eggs because I need money for my son and I don't bring anything with me. Oh, Lord. What for? It's to buy my son a book. But why do you sell eggs? Look, to be honest with you, I was fired from my job, so I don't have one right now, and since I don't have any money and, well, in my house. Well, I have two hens. They are the only thing I have, so with the eggs they lay, I try to take advantage of that and go out and sell them to earn something and be able to buy the book that my son has asked for. Don't you work? Well, I do work. Well, I used to. And they fired me from my job. I've been looking for one and can't find anything. The only thing I have in my house are the hens, and that's why I'm selling the eggs to buy the book they ask my son. Please support me, sir. Sales are difficult, but... Well, let's see, look. Yes, it's not much, but... There you go. Take it, please. No, 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 no. Stay with them so that you can... Please, so you can have them for breakfast. You better keep it. You might sell them faster and everything will turn out better for you. Please, to help you out. Hey, so why, why did you decide to give me your money? You say that the sales aren't that good and that it's the only thing you sold. Well, if I help you today, maybe God helps me tomorrow or maybe I am a fool. Well, that's what I think. Because I understand what you're going through. Having to live with the same needs as you. I think that I, more than anyone knows what it is. So I understand you perfectly. And why would it be the same need for you? What happened to you? Maybe you can talk to me. Oh, it's really hard to talk about that. Do you have children? Or something happened with your wife? Look, I had a house. I used to work in. Well, one day I lost my job and my children, who were already grown-ups, did not want to support me. They preferred to take me to a nursing home. They put me in an asylum. And when we were there, they left me like as if it were an old piece of furniture. Then, one day they no longer paid and then the people at the asylum were not going to leave me there. So they kicked me out and what a problem it was because I didn't have any papers or documents. You know, at my age there is no way to get a job. This society does not give you work, it does not help you. Well, there you see me walking through the streets without anything, asking for money here and there. Well, it was a problem. Until I put together an idea and said, well, let's sell candy, whatever. I started selling sweets and stuff. When I finished selling those, I started selling popcorn. And well, little by little, here we go with the sale of the day. And well, I gave you this so you can eat, because I went through that so you have nothing to thank for. Nothing at all. And your wife? What happened to your wife? Oh, my dear wife. My beloved Lucia. She passed away many years ago. My children were left without a mother. They did not recognize me as their father. So they sent me to an asylum and my life became very sad. I say this because it is very difficult to be without your children. Just imagine that one day you have a family and suddenly you are left without nothing. Sorry, but. I'm not blaming anyone but. Damn, it's not worth it. It's like, 
The worst kind of betrayal that has ever happened to me, I don't know. And now, is over and I can't even complain anymore. Have you not seen your children since then? Have they not approached you, or look for you? Nothing. But when I arrived home I was surprised that it was already sold. They had already sold it. I didn't find anyone. It already had other owners. I tried to spoke to them on the phone. None of them ever answered me. So did you sell your house to your children? My house, my house. They sold my house. So where do you live? Where do you sleep? That's another story. But look, bless God. One day a man who sells tacos. Invite me to sat down with him and I was hungry and asked him to give me one taco. And he gave it to me. And not one, he gave me two. And seeing how he was doing, he even gave me water and everything. Well, I already told you my story. And seeing the state I was in, he told me that he needed someone to help him. Well, I went there and ran errands for him. I helped him by sweeping and cleaning. I washed the dishes. And well, the man took me on faith and asked me if I had somewhere to live. I told him no, because when it rains, it gets very ugly, living on the street and wake up all wet. And he told me don't worry, you come here, at least inside there won't be any rain and is warm. So I keep my things there, I sleep there. When I need to go take a bath, I look for a public bath. And there I go, surviving, as they say, keeping myself strong. Look sir, the truth is, this, mm, what I am doing is a social experiment. In reality, I don't have any problem with my economy. My family is fine, my children are fine and healthy. I just wanted to go out into the street to test people's kindness. I was with two other people before you, asking them for help to buy the book for my son. And the two people denied it to me. They didn't want to help me. They treated me very badly. They offended me. However, I can tell you have a very good heart. You are the only person who has given me help, who has offered to help me with the little you have earned today. So because of that, I think you deserved a reward. Because you have been a good person. You helped me without asking me. You gave me the only thing you had sold, and I want to give you these eggs. No, but I already told you. Accept them, please. Accept them. Open the box. Inside the eggs, there is a surprise. Are you kidding me? No, 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 really. It is a gift that God sends you who sent you this is because of the person you are. Are those eggs? Yes, please. Open those eggs. This is not true. That's going to help you a lot, sir. Are you going to give me this? Yes, that's for you. It is your reward for being such a good man, for being such a good person, because even though life has treated you badly, despite what happened with your children, you still have a good heart. And I want to help you. My life has gone very well. And I want to compensate you for what you have suffered and what you have done. I am giving back a little of what God and life has given me. And that's all for you. Thanks, God. It's for you to help yourself, so you have something to eat and all the eggs have a surprise for you. Everyone? Really? Yes, open them. It is a help that God sends you. Are you going to be like my guardian angel? You deserve it, sir. You have always acted well. You have always done things well. And today you have a reward. Open the last one.
You're not going to take it away, right? No, sir, this is your money. This is all ready for you. What is this? A key? That's another gift I have for you. Of what? Or what for? Do you want to find out what that key opens? Yes. Yes, I do want to know. Come on. You're wondering what we're doing here, right? Yes. Do you remember the key you took from the egg? Yes. I told you earlier that whatever opened that key was going to be for you. Open it. Really? Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead and open it, please. It is the one above. That way. Not true. Please come on in with confidence. This is too big. This is not true. This is very big. I cannot believe it. You're not making fun of me, are you? No, not at all. This house is yours. My colleagues and I used this house to work, but we decided that we were going to give it to someone who was really in need. And that person is you. That's your reward for being a kind. And a generous person who always helps. But, is this a joke? Let's see, I can't believe, it's just... Are you serious about this? It's... It's hard to believe it. Well, believe it, it is a reward for you. He is sending you all this, is what God commands and wants. For the person you had always been, and for everything you had suffered. Starting today, this house is yours. Here you will sleep, you will live well. Can't you imagine? With all the help you gave me. I don't know how to say it, but really, a thank you. From the bottom of my heart. May I give you a hug? For everything you had done for me? Of course you can. Thank you. Go ahead and enjoy it. It's your home now.